Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people cut their own bangs at home by themselves. So if you think that sounds scary, well, me too. I'll be explaining what they did wrong and maybe what they did right, if anything. Overall, we're just gonna have a good laugh together. But first, we have a fabulous sponsor for today's video. Thank you, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring today's video and keeping my skin looking so cute. So let me tell you about my skin. I have a combination skin, so it's a little dry, it's a little moist. Sometimes it just really doesn't like me. Some days it really does. Sometimes it's just like, ouch, everything hurts and everything kind of like irritates my skin. So I would say, yeah, sometimes it's sensitive. It's hard. <laughs> And as for makeup, um, I wear it like twice a week, maybe three times a week. So when I went and took the Function of Beauty quiz, right, I had to fill out some stuff and they asked me what my three main top goals are for my skin. Anti-aging for one. I also say I wanna hydrate because some days it really is dry. Even if my skin is already moisturized, sometimes I'm trying to like give it a little more. And then I also wanna minimize my pores. I wanna look poreless. Here's my serum. I've been using it for about three months now. It has sodium hyaluronate, which increases skin hydration, which decreases flaky and dryness on your face and your skin. We have algae extract in this. It's great for skin aging. Then we have another ingredient in my serum called propanadol. I'm so bad at pronunciation, but it's called propanadol. Propanadol, propanadol. It's gonna soften your skin, make it less bumpy. And all those three things combined, baby, gives me this mug. Not only do I love the packaging, but I also love that it's lightweight. It really sinks into my skin and you don't feel like a greasy, oily residue on your face after you use this. It absorbs extremely quickly and you can just tell it's super nourishing. So when I found out that Function of Beauty had a serum, made 100% custom for me, I had to give it a try. Personally, I love something that is made just for my skin type. Skin is really complicated. And sometimes when you're using a cookie cutter formula, it may not work for you because we all have very different skin. This product is made for you. It takes into account your skin type, your skin sensitivity, and how much you wear makeup. It's 100% vegan, non-GMOs, and paraben and sulfate free. So you can thank me later for this one, okay? You are getting 20% off your custom serum and a free selfie headband if you click the link right down below. Now let's watch some people ruin their Hair. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by somebody named Sierra Grant, and this is called Cutting Bangs and Instantly Regretting It. Fail, lol. I'm just gonna come out and say that this video is going to be a mess. I'm on call for tonight, so they could call me in to come work any minute. Hopefully, it's like at least not right now. <laughs> you know, I have this problem where I can't. Leave my hair alone. Why are humans like this? Why do we choose to do things like this? You have literally no time to cut your bangs. Why are we doing it right now? Why not just wait until after work? So I can see where my bangs end because they're slightly shorter than the rest of my hair. They start like here. So I have this pointy brush thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I've cut my hair once in my life. Okay, so the sectioning right off the bat is scary. Really scary, love. Um, let's make sure it's even on both sides. Let's get that uh, part out of your hair. You gotta wet it down, blow dry forward to get that part gone. Cause I mean, how are you gonna cut your hair with the part? Maybe she's gonna wet it. I hope she wets it before she cuts it. That would really help a lot. Hopefully she doesn't cut her bangs this wide. That won't look good. It'll look bad. And that was not my bangs. You can go watch it, it's on my channel somewhere. My favorite part is that her bang section goes down to like here. Girl, they're supposed to stop here, not here. Unfortunately, I cannot find the scissors I would use for stuff, but I have these. The worst possible scissors you could use. No, not dull craft scissors. And I don't have the energy to spend any time looking for it. Wait, I found them. Oh, those aren't better. They are so small. What are you gonna do, cut one strand of hair at a time? Girl, you're gonna be there forever. Okay, it's go time. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, don't do it. We can actually back out now. Why did that hurt? I like, ow. We're taking random pieces. That's kind of the technique we're doing. Little by little, right? That ain't easy. They're way too thin. That's too short. We're going a little too short for, for my liking. See, this is what I wanted to avoid. Uh, no. Why is it on the side of your head? I told you this would happen. You don't want that. <laughs> no. Okay, here's the thing. Next time, you know, take a section in between your fingers and cut 
right across, okay? One snippity dip, not a bunch of snips. You know, that way you get like a nice clean cut. And also cut a little longer than you want. You can always trim a very little tiny pieces off if you think it's too long when you're done, but otherwise you can't just grow hair back right away. You know, it takes a little while. You're better off keeping it longer than shorter. See, the thing is, I can't get this fixed. I can see why you wouldn't go to the hairdresser, but it's literally like takes five minutes for them to cut bangs. And it's not that expensive. There's not many hairdressers where I live because it's a really small place and there's nothing else around. So it's not like I could drive somewhere or whatever. At least she contemplated going to the hairdresser and then decided not to. The thought was there. They're not looking actually that bad right now. They're kind of shaping up to be something kind of cute. Oh, okay, point cutting. Yes, give us hairstylist. If I had a blow dryer, I would like fix it so it didn't awkwardly part but I don't have a blow dryer. How are you gonna style your bangs every day without a blow dryer? Has no blow dryer, hates hair in her face. Why do we do bangs? I don't know, seems like a bad idea. Oh no, it's getting shorter, it's getting shorter. And she's still trying to get that part out of her hair with no blow dryer. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> there, look. Uh! Okay, it's dry right here, so I'll try like this piece first or whatever. No, it's not even dry. It's I almost feel like your bangs need to be washed before you start like <laughs> straightening them. They look a little bit greasy, just a little greasy. How do you expect to cut nice bangs when your hair is like oily? What am I missing here? Also, you gotta blend your bangs in to your layers on the side. Cause now you got and then you gotta have a little roundness or like a little bit of blending. But now she's like like no, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh. It's getting progressively worse. Why is this actually kind of working? It's not working at all. That's how you do it. It's not how you do it. <laughs> what is that? You think I'm gonna do this every morning? No, or at all, no. My hair is literally frying right now. Put the flat iron down and the scissors, and then never look back. Don't ever do this again. I put heat protectant in them, what the hell? I think it's because my hair, I like need to wash it, and then it'll be wet. And then when it's wet, I'll like brush it like bangs, so it'll dry like bangs, and it's gonna listen more. And yes, you do, you need to wash it, and you need to brush it down and make it dry in place. Or just use some dry shampoo or something. Thank God, I couldn't watch any more of that. It's not that terrible, I guess. You know what I just did? Deleted my bangs. Bangs. Where? I don't have any. I don't see bangs anywhere. It can be our little secret and a million other people watching. So we went from no bangs to bangs back to no bangs. Okay, well, it seemed like a little bit of a waste of time and effort, but um, you know, it was fine. I actually think they could look okay if you just blow dry them and style them nicely. I don't think they would look bad. I don't think you did a horrible job. Um, maybe make them a little bit thicker. I don't know. Just it needs a little sun, you know, a little flavor in there. But let's never cut our bangs with a part. You should wet them and then cut them when they're wet and then let them dry and then style them. Whoa, I know, right? I'm so smart. Uh. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by a channel called Leanna. How not to cut curtain bangs fail. I'm gonna cut bangs. Okay, so I don't think I want straight across bangs. Maybe we'll see where the night takes us but I think I want them like a little bit longer and then I want to wear them parted down the middle just so it'll give me a little bit of like shape right here. So she's looking to do a curtain bang. And by the way, if you're looking to do a curtain bang on yourself, you can check out my video right down below. But listen, it's not that hard. She could do it. I could believe in her. I hope that Brad Mondo, is that his name? Brad Mondo doesn't watch this. Brad Mondo, yes, that's me. And yes, I'm watching your video. <laughs> okay. Cool, a little triangle right there. That's a terrible idea. That's the whole triangle, huh? I can't believe I'm really just about to do this right now, but here we go. Should I twist it? Yes. That's it? Where's the rest of the triangle? That's how much hair you're gonna cut. You're gonna have like one strand on each side of your head. You're gonna need a lot more than that. That is the tiniest bang section I've ever seen. But yes. How long do I want it to be? I love how she has no rhyme or reason for twisting it. What twisting is gonna do is take this, the side pieces and twist them around. It's gonna make the side pieces um, longer because they have further to twist than the center piece. You're gonna get more of like a this thing rather than a side bang thing. Are you guys ready? I'm really just about to chop it. Like I, there's nothing, no anticipation. I'm just about to be like, Shh. Let's do it. I mean, you're gonna regret it, but it's okay. <laughs> 
No, that is the shortest thing. I thought she said side bangs. What? You guys saw where I cut. I thought they were gonna be this long. I thought they were gonna be below my eyes. Let me go blow dry them and make them straight. Hold on. Mm, no, uh, that looks worse. A lot worse. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I have been messing with it for hour not hours okay like 20 minutes and this is the best i can get it as of like straight bang wise i'm literally never gonna wear it like this you can bet i'm just gonna like part it and hopefully you won't be able to see wait 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 <laughs> why are you so relaxed about this mm. It looks bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Why is there too much? You cut two pieces and then accidentally cut them way above your eyebrow. You gotta give it some wiggle room, okay? Don't pull your hair down when you cut it. You gotta let it fall into place and then do a little chaparuni. I like the nose. That way they fall like right here. Don't twist your hair like that. Cut each side one at a time. Pull them across the other way. Cut a rooney, pull it back, and you should have a nice little bevel at the ends. And it should go like that. But the bang she wanted, it's not that easy to just cut them like that. That was not the best technique ever. It was actually really bad. I told you that a few times, but it was bad. This video is by Stacy Wright, and this is called I Cut My Bangs Fail. Brad Mondo Tutorial 2020. No! No, not me. I didn't, I hope I didn't do you wrong. So before I cut my bangs, I'm gonna do a little prep work because I have some crazy curly hairs up there. And I'm just gonna run it through my hair so it can be easier to work with when I'm cutting. A great way to change up your style without losing length. Brad Mondo. I know you're all in isolation right now and you're ready. I'll to check back. Why is everybody cutting their bangs dry? I'm not sure if I want the straight short bangs or should I do the I think I'm going to go longer first, and then if I want to go shorter... I have a feeling they're going to end up really short. I know I said I would follow Brad Mondo's tutorial step by step, but the stress and concentration took over, and that all went out the window. I love how Brad Mondo makes his tutorial look so easy, and then you try it on yourself, and you're just like, how? How did we get here? I'm sorry, I really try to make it so easy. But what is this? This is not what I told you to do at all. What? is this what are we doing is this you trying to make like a little bevel to, uh, what are, i don't even know we're just chopping away okay listen it's actually not that bad okay that was bad the right side actually looks good and if you blow dried and styled it correctly it would look fire stop cutting just cut your losses here and just stop i kind of like love when people just keep cutting because it's such a hairdresser thing to do it's like you make one mistake and then you're like i'll just cut it a little shorter and then you make another mistake it's like i'll cut it a little more short and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until it gets like really short and you're like where the hell did all the hair go That was really bad, that styling job. You need to like blow dry them forward and then to each side, not just forward. Why oh, I'm cutting them shorter. What happened to the side bangs? So it's a bit later after I cut my bangs, I've washed my hair because I just couldn't get them to style right. I keep brushing them. They want to split apart like magnets. They don't like each other. I mean, I might as well. Mm. Ew, you look like me with the little, there's only one way to go, and that is shorter. I'm gonna try to blow them out one last time and see. I don't own a straightener. Not sure if it's because my hair's curly or a little wavy that my bangs don't wanna act right. No, it's the technique. It's purely the technique that's not working for you. Try going side to side with that brush first. That'll remove that kind of uh, really harsh part you have going on. No, you're not going shorter. There's absolutely no way you're going shorter. Well, and as you can see, I did end up going shorter, which I do regret, but my bangs will grow back out, so. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. So many things went wrong in this video. So many. Girl, don't do that again. Um, It actually was looking okay at the end. 
until you cut them shorter. But secretly, like I know you messed up and I know you like it wasn't the best, but I don't mind the really short bangs on you. Like they're kind of cute. You know, you kind of rock them. So I'm not like completely mad. I love when I just like flip flop. I hate it to like, oh my God, actually, you know what? It was kind of cute. If I didn't know she messed them up, I would have just thought in, if I, and if I saw her in real life, I would just think like, oh, she likes her bangs short. I'm not the biggest hater of them. I'm not, I think they're kind of fun. But next time, if you don't want them that short, stop cutting, maybe. All right, well, if I learned anything today, it's that nobody knows how to cut their bangs correctly. And if you don't know how, watch my videos. And also learn how to style them correctly because that's also just a complete fail throughout all these videos. It was bad, it was rough. Very entertaining though, I must say. Thank you for making those videos, guys. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. You can do so at xmonohair.com. It is linked below. Here it all is. It's so damn cute. I wear it all day, every day. Literally, whenever, whenever you don't see me, I'm wearing it. If you want to check out my hair care line and my color line, you can do so with the links below, xmonohair.com and xmonohair.com. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams at xmonohair and at xmonocolor. If you would like to text me, well, you can do so. Here is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, it really used to me your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This number will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Adriana. She says, I have thick curly hair and awful botched highlights that are drier than the Sahara Desert. <laughs> I want a color change and I was thinking of getting curly bangs. What, you, what a funny thing that I picked you for today because um, I, we were just doing this today. Curly bangs, do I think they would look good on you? I do. Um, I just really hope they're done correctly and you do not do them yourself. Or if you do them yourself, really get educated before you do it because you know, after seeing stuff today, you can really go wrong. Especially with curly bangs, you know, you gotta cut them really nicely. Plus your hair is wavy, so it's a little bit more even difficult than curl, like corkscrew curls. Just gonna make sure you style them nicely, you use great products, but yeah, I think they would look great, but I do like you without bangs. Maybe stay without them, and if you really want them, get them done right. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo, and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.